There are many different types of structured note. However, one of the most common structured notes, especially when bank accounts are paying next to no interest whatsoever, is the quarterly income note. Now, when you first come across these structured notes, they can seem quite a complex option when looking to invest. Let me explain how a quarterly income note works. Let's say, for example, you want to invest $10,000. This would be invested over a five-year term. Let us take that and put it in the investment pot here. Then let us say you want to make that investment today. We would take this date and this would become our strike date. We then take the price of the three global indexes that you would like the note to track. For now, let's say the indexes are S&P 500, FTSE 100 and Eurostox 50 and the prices of these indexes are all 100. This would then become the strike price. The strike price is set for our five-year term and constitutes 100%. We then take 80% of this figure and this becomes the coupon barrier. So for all of our indexes, our coupon barrier is set at 80. Our structured note is now set. And at the end of each quarter, we take the price again. At the end of this quarter, we can see S&P 104, FTSE 94, Eurostox 102. As you can see, all of our indexes are above the 80% mark or coupon barrier. This means that this month, 2% of your total investment of $10,000 will be paid away. So, we will put that quarter's earnings of $200 into our earnings pot. In the second quarter, the S&P 500 continues to rise and finishes up on 108. FTSE 100, however, has taken a bit of a dive by mid-quarter down as low as 77, but by the end of the quarter has rebounded and is back above the coupon barrier threshold and sits at 86. Eurostox 50 has stayed pretty much solid and ends the quarter on 101. So for this quarter we have once again earned our 2%. Let's put another $200 in our earnings pot. This continues on over the course of the five-year term paying away your 2% at the end of every quarter, so long as the indexes remain above the 80% coupon barrier threshold. If we get to the end of a quarter, and the price of any of your indexes is below the 80% coupon barrier threshold, there would be no 2% paid away for that quarter. Next quarter, however, the price of the FTSE 100 has risen again, and has rejoined the S&P 500 and Eurostox 50 above the coupon barrier mark, and... 2% or $200 for this investment is paid away again. So let us now fast forward to the end of the term. Our five years is up. And as you can see, all of our indexes are above the coupon barrier threshold. As you can see, we have already paid away a total of $3,800 over the course of the last five years, out of a total possible $4,000, or a total return on investment of 38%, even though the best performing index only returned 11% during the same period. So that's $3,800 rather than $1,100 for the same period if you invested solely in the S&P 500. When that final day closes and the final price is taken and all of your indexes are above the coupon barrier threshold, your $10,000 investment will also get returned 100% in full ready for you to once again invest and get that money working for you. So there you have it, the quarterly income note, a simple to understand and effective way of investing your money. Thanks for listening. If you want to know more, head to www.note-tracker.net. Bye for now.